What's going on my people? Welcome back to another week and this week we're going to talk about the one clear sign that means that you're about to experience massive success and that one clear sign is when you experience growing pain. So stick around I'm going to tell you about the four stages of growth that you want to be aware of if massive success is something that you want to experience for your life. What's going on, those of you watching on YouTube or listening on the podcast, welcome to all of you. We're gonna jump right into this week because I know there are some of you who maybe you're in that season where you've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort, and maybe you're just not getting the results, or you're not seeing the results, or your life is not looking like what you envisioned or what you hoped for. And that could be for a good reason. One of the good, the, the good reason could be because you're experiencing growing pains and growing pains are not a bad thing. Now, the other side of that is you could just be doing the wrong thing. <laughs> like we got to put that disclaimer out there as well. You could just be doing the wrong thing and that's why you're getting the same result. But chances are because great things often require hard things, right? And chances are you, you're probably just experiencing a growing pain. Now here's the danger. The danger is this. If if you are in a growing pain, then that means you're right on the cusp of success and often massive success. But the danger is this, you must make sure that you are truly experiencing growing pains. There's nothing worse than thinking that you're in a cycle of growing pains when really what you're experiencing is a cycle of frustration, which means you're not going to get to the other side of the pain. You're just going to keep reliving that pain over and over again. So I thought it'd be cool to just share based off of uh, experience, research, uh, and really my life as well. So some anecdotal stuff in there of how you, how you can know if you're truly experiencing growing pains or if you found yourself in that cycle of frustration. So there are four stages of growth, three of which are stages or cycles of frustration. There's only one that is the actual growing pain that you wanna be aware of and stay in until your time is up and you can move on to massive success. All right, so let's jump into what those four are. There are four growing stages and the first three are what I call the four, the four stages that keep you in the pain. All right, we're gonna start with those three first. The first stage that keeps you in the pain is a stage of neglect. And those of you listening on the podcast, I'm writing down the word neglect. Oh, no, I gotta show you here, actually. The first stage is a stage of neglect. Now, this is a stage I know very well. In fact, I think this is the stage that I lived for quite some time because there was a time in my life early on in my career where I was just operating off of pure talent. <laughs> like I was just walking in the room, jumping out of bed and going in there and giving presentations because I would do it a few times and people would be like, man, that was great. And I would be thinking in my head, dude, I didn't prepare one second for this. I just kind of was freestyling off the cuff. And what happened is that became a habit. And it wasn't long before I wasn't preparing for anything. And, and being the fact that I had a, a natural ability to communicate, it turned into neglect. And that is the growing stage you don't wanna be in. Because here's what happens when you are in that neglect stage. What you're allowing is that you're allowing your potential to be stolen. At this stage, here is where your potential Make sure I spell this right. This is where your potential can be stolen. What do you mean by potential being stolen? Well, what happens is o over an extended period of time, if we're just operating off of pure talent and we never develop that talent, then what happens is as time goes on, whatever potential, right? Let's say this is our natural talent and it's pretty high, but as time goes on, that potential that gap begins to close because you're getting, time is going and passing. And so opportunities are being robbed from you. Whatever excess skill you could have built or created over that time frame is being robbed from you. So let's say you're a writer, but you don't practice or develop your writing skill. Then over time, everyone else is gonna catch up with you. 
and you're going to miss out on opportunities because you didn't uh, you neglected your skill. Let's say you play sports or you're in music or I don't know, you're good at some acad academic thing. Let's say you're good at math, but you never take a step to develop that skill or to see where that skill can best apply. That's the stage of neglect. When you are in that stage of neglect, you just continue. What you will do is you'll put yourself in a cycle of frustration because you'll never be able to progress to the life that you envision because you all because you neglected your gift. You neglected your talent. You neglected growing your skill. So that's the first stage of 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 growth. And this is one of the, the four. I'm sorry, this is one of the three stages of pain or cycles of pain that I want you to, to avoid. The second one here, this stage I call, this is the stage of hard growth. So the first one is neglect. The second one here is hard growth. And some of you growing up, like I grew up, <laughs> you may have been told once or twice that you are hard headed. Anybody ever heard that term before? Like, man, he or she, they're so hard headed. Well, the cousin to hard headed is hard growth. So what's hard growth? Hard growth is when you know you're supposed to be growing, when you know that growth is, is the key to you reaching the next level, but you only put a little bit of effort in. You only put a small amount of effort into it. And so your growth never gets down into the roots. It never reaches down into you know, that nutrients. It just stays at the surface level. And knowing that you're supposed to be growing, knowing that, hey, I probably should be doing something with this. I probably should be, I know, well, actually not that I probably, it's at this stage, you know, you know what you should be doing but you're not doing it. Just like when you're hard headed, you know, hey, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but you do it anyways. Well, in growth, it's the same kind of concept where I know I'm supposed to be growing this area, but I'm not. I know I should be planning better, but I'm, but I'm not. I know I should be managing my time better, but I'm not. And that's that cycle of frustration where this is, this is the cycle of frustration with a, a hint of insanity because they say insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Well, that's what hard growth is. Hard growth is when you continue to try to push forward, push towards success that you know you could have, but you're doing it using ineffective habits and expecting a different result. So this year, I'm not going to touch a book. I'm not going to pick up a book. I'm not going to read anything. I'm not going to have any mentors. Even though I know I should, I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to continue going towards whatever that thing is, whatever that goal is. And that's a hard way to grow. Because what you're going to encounter is just cycles of frustration. You're going to encounter challenges that you didn't have to encounter because if you had a mentor, you would have walked around that challenge instead of having to go through it. You would have, you'd have missed that pothole instead of dipping your, your, you know, the, the tire of your life into it. You'd have missed out on that pain. You would have avoided that pain, actually. Not missed out, because you, you, know, you would have avoided it. But when we're hard-headed or hard, when we, when we choose hard growth, we end up extending that cycle of frustration, which means we end up extending the cycle of pain. So hard growth is the second stage of growth that I would say avoid. The third one, oh, wrong color. The third one here, and this is probably one that I think many of us will identify with. This is where the thorns are. This is a stage of growth where, where thorns begin to pop up. And I'm going to tell you what these thorns are made out of. They're made out of your environment. They're, ma they're made up of your, of lies. Not, maybe not your lies, but lies being told around you. And distractions. Oh, that handwriting is so beautiful. I know it. Distractions. That's what hard, that's, that's what the, 
thorns are made up. And she may be wondering, well, Josh, what do you mean by thorns? Well, what I mean by thorns is, let's say you start growing. Let's say you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing. Let's, let's say you, you are going to the gym every day. Let's say you, you've picked up the book and you're reading, you're studying. But let's say your environment is not conducive to you actually getting results. Let's say you're going to the gym every day, but every night you're hanging out at parties where there's alcohol, which destroys the body. There's, not, there's sweets and sugar and things you shouldn't be eating. Or let's say you, you are someone that's studying and you're starting to develop your skills, but you're, you're addicted to social media. And every time something pops up, you have to be in the know. You have to be on your phone. You have to be scrolling through the latest news. And before you know it, you look up and two hours have gone and the thorns of distraction have choked out your opportunity to grow for the day. Or maybe it's the, the lies, right? Maybe it's, it's the thorns of those lies that you think or that occupy your mind. Maybe it's inadequacy. Maybe it's a, hey, I'll never reach this. Hey, it's, maybe it's, wait, what's the point? These are all thorns that choke your ability to grow, that choke your ability to produce. And I think this is probably the most dangerous one because this is one we see, I believe, the most often. A thorn can be a distraction in the form of some of the stuff we see now with, well, people have the right intentions, right? When it comes to a lot of the justice and social things. But if we're not careful, that stuff can become a massive distraction. And all it's doing is taking away time from you growing. Your growth could actually very well position you to be the solution to the problem. But if you're too distracted, you'll never get on the other side of the growing pain. And I think that leads to the last one here, which is the one that I would encourage everyone. I would encourage everyone to focus on this one. And I probably shouldn't. This is not a part of the cycle of frustration. So maybe we should write this one in a different color. This one is actually, this is where you begin to experience that good growth. And that's why I call it, this is good soil. Good soil or good, or good ground. This is where you want to be. This is, how, this is the, the positive growing pain that you want to be aware of. Because when you are in, at this level, yeah, it's going to be hard still. You're going to have to put in some work. Have you ever seen a farmer who, who has to t t you know, till the ground and get all the weeds out to prepare for seeds to get in the ground that will grow? That's, that's, this is the growing pain that describes that. But the beauty of this growing pain is that once you've tilled the ground, once you've gotten all the distractions out of your life, all the lies out of your head, once you've gotten all of the, the hard growth out of your system and you're no longer trying the same ineffective growing habits but getting no results, once you've gotten the neglect out of your system and you're not neglecting your potential, but you're actually locked in on your legacy and what you could be and how you could grow. Once you get rid of those things, you prepare good soil. And that's when the seeds you start putting in your, your, your time management, your value management, your priority management. Once you start putting good seeds in there, the mentors you invite into your life, the, that course that you are studying, that book that you're reading, all of those seeds begin to grow. And a lot of those trees that grow are going to have dollar bills on them. I'm telling you right now. Because that's what's on the other side of the growing pains when it's the right growing pain. When it's the growing pain that's rooted in good soil, it produces good fruit. And I'm, I'm, so, I'm so blessed in my life because I get access to various coaches. And I met one this, this past, what, two weeks ago? And I think I want to add this guy to my coaching uh, uh, lineup because I just love them. And Coach Wayne, if you're watching, shout out to you. But him and I had a wonderful conversation. And he's someone that, that uh, I said, man, I, I need to get this guy on, on my team. But, and it's one of the things that he said to me that just it stood out. And he, he told me, he said, belief. Like the greatest display of belief is preparation. The greatest 
display of belief is preparation. And that blew my mind. Because it's true. If you really believe that you have value within you, that there's purpose in front of you and ahead of you, and, there's, and you see and envision something for your life, then you owe it to your life. You owe it to those skills, strengths, and talents within you to prepare them. Because it doesn't mean anything to say you believe and then not have a life that matches what you say you believe. When he said that, it's like, this is my kind of guy because it's true. And that's what I want to share with you today. If you're going through some growing pains, I want you to look through these four right here and make, a, and make an assessment. Are you in that neglect zone? Are you just neglecting your, your ability, your skills? And that's why you're experiencing, you know, a cycle of frustration because you're in the wrong growing pain cycle. Or is it hard growth? where you're just doing the same things, expecting a different result and applying ineffective growing strategy? Is it thorns? Is it your environment? Are there lies in your mind that you're believing? Is, are there distractions that you surrounded yourself around that are just choking the potential, the growth that you could be experiencing, the massive success that you could be experiencing? Or is your life made up of good, uh, of soil, of ground that you are just tilling all the weeds out? You're just preparing it. If that's where you are, then I encourage you to keep going. If that's where you find yourself, then I have wonderful news for you. There is massive success on the other side of your growth. There is massive success. Everything, before I could experience what it was like to have 200 plus thousand dollars in my account, I had to first experience what it was like to have $200 in my account. And my rent was $800. I had to go through the growing pain of learning how to budget. I had to go through the growing pain of growing a talent or a skill that people would pay me enough for to actually be able to make rent. And those years weren't, they weren't necessarily pleasant during the time. But oh, the fruit that came after I stayed in that cycle of growth. And I know the same is true for your life. If you will just stay in this, if you're in the right growth cycle, of course, if you know you're, you're doing the right things, you are investing your time into growing yourself and growing your talents and growing your skills. Maybe you're trying to start a business and things aren't really, you haven't really broken through yet. Keep going. Remember these days, keep tilling the ground, keep putting seeds in the ground, seeds of preparation. Because the more you prepare, the more you are feeding the belief. And the more you feed the belief, the more you will continue to go through that cycle and that, that, those growing pains. And the more you go through those, the quicker you will begin to sprout up success, the massive success that is on the other side. All right? I hope this was valuable to you. Uh, if so, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a thing, all right? I'll see you next week, same time, same place, reminding you that success is your destiny. See you on the next one.